Boy, I wish I had some really good news about Marty O'Donnell, guys. So I woke up this morning to a couple of articles from Forbes and PC Gamer or whatever the hell it's called to find out that Marty O'Donnell has been held in contempt of court. I wish I was wrong. I really, really wish I was wrong in that situation because in my previous video, I did say that from what video he posted onto his channel, which supposedly I'm the only one who has the video now, um, where he did say, you know, if you have distribution of the music of the spear from Destiny when Activision owned Destiny, that <clears throat> you need to get rid of them for his own sake and all that type of things. Um, if you haven't seen the previous video or my original video that Marty didn't deserve this or... Um, I believe Marty's being sued. I'll leave links in the description for y'all. But let me get to the article to where it's going to explain the whole situation to us of what's going on because this is not looking good for Marty, guys. And I'm actually kind of kind of scared for him. All right, so this is a... Uh, <laughs> All right, so this is an article from PC Gamer. Ex-Bungie composer Marty O'Donnell ordered to pay the studio nearly $100,000 in legal fees. O'Donnell was found in contempt of court after distributing music he was ordered to return to Bungie in 2014. Which he did, though, but I think he posted it on his channel in 2019. That, that's a whole mess that's going to be talked about another time. Veteran Halo and Destiny composer Marty O'Donnell has been ordered to pay Bungie tens of thousands of legal fees after being found in contempt of court, Eurogamer reported earlier today. Fired from, from back in 2014 and act accuses of Activision meddling, O'Donnell was ordered in, to return all assets relating to the, his work on Destiny. Music of, of the Spheres, a Destiny concept art back to the studio and was prohibited from sharing or performing music from those scores. But starting in 2019, O'Donnell began sharing musical sketches, variations and full composions of on YouTube and Bandicamp, where notably listeners could donate money towards the releases. I think I'll put his Bandicamp in my description for y'all if you want to go donate to him. In April, Bungie filed contempt of court papers against the composer, with a motion obtained by Eurogamer reading, oh, Mr. O'Donnell's very possession of materials prov uh, proves he did not comply with the order to return all material to Bungie. The Superior Court of Washington King County evidently agreed. On July 14th, O'Donnell was asked to remove all Destiny music of the Spears audio from the internet, which he has done. Post a message explaining their removal, asking people who downloaded copies to destroy them and to refrain from making any direct or indirect public comment regarding these posts, which he has decif decisively not done. Huh? Okay, that part right there, I think maybe the audio thing you can get away with, but he... Uh, but he did make the video saying that he did want the you know the music removes from the internet and stuff so that one's a little bit of a stretch on pc gamers side the composer was also ordered to pay bungie's legal fees and any income earned through the sale of the music on bandy cam oh god and the cost of third party examination of this equipment to ensure the assets are removed the total of which is estimated almost a hundred thousand while these motions were filed over summer, details have only surfaced this week as part of Eurogamer's reporting. Through people did not notice when O'Donnell's Twitter account briefly vanished and reappeared and had Destiny videos purged from his YouTube channel, according to Forbes. O'Donnell also briefly spammed Destiny subreddits and Bandicamp's links to the music of the Spears. Okay, that one, I'm not too sure if it's true because if anyone has proof of this, then please send it to me. Please comment in to me to where I need to go to find that, because I would really like to see that. In June, over a month before the content filing, the composer advertised the original soundtrack to his 2019 VR project, Golem, on Twitter to help with my huge legal fees. He's still working with Highwire on deeply controversial Six Days of Fallujah, though his recently 
tease some kind of return to Halo. So I was semi right in the previous video. Um, if, like I said, go watch the previous video on Marty Aldon. You'll see what I guys what I mean. So it appears that Marty held on to the tracks and stuff, which I don't understand why Bungie would give a crap about a couple of old tracks that are just going to be like buried and dead and gone and nobody's going to care about it. And trust me, I've listened to some of the music and I'm really surprised that, you know, when they broke off from Activision, they just didn't sit down with Marty saying, hey, I like what you're doing with the music. We want to use it. So please take it all down and stuff and we'll just clean the slate here and just move on. You know, that's what I would have done if I were Petey Parsons instead of being a, uh, you know, a bit of a slimy weasel and doing this kind of legal stuff. But as far as the exit with the previous lawsuit they had in 2014, you know, Marty was supposed to destroy all these, all these copies of the music of the Spears and stuff. So, I mean... <laughs> I'm trying to find out like a way it would be good for both of them to be honest because I want to be at least fair and stuff. And I love Marty guys. Trust me, I love him a lot. I <laughs> the guy would be so fun to hang out with IRL and stuff, just to shoot the shitter with him. Get inside his brain, figure out how he does his music and just, you know, figure out who he is. But in the legal sense right here, I I sadly have to side with Bungie on this one. You know, the Bungie, Bungie did say that, you know, you have to delete all the material you had on the original composer of the spear and stuff. So now, you know, since he since he did leak this to the Internet and stuff. And like I said, I don't know why Bungie cares because it's dead and gone. But it just it doesn't make sense to me at all. But in the legal sense right now, it's bad. It's bad for Marty right now. And I don't see how he's going to get out from these legal fees that Bungie's like throwing at his face right now. And this is, this is not good guys. And I feel, I feel bad for Marty, but in the legal sense, I do not feel bad for him. And I just hope he does not get screwed over in the legal system. And I hope they're at least fair to the guy.